We are here at the second largest KOA in all of the United States. Are you curious as to which one it is? Stay tuned and we'll tell you all about it. This is part of the joys of living in an RV <laughs> with one bathroom is that somebody, and I'm not going to mention that person's name, however, somebody in our family tends to take a long time in the bathroom. So it's a good thing that we have bath houses at the campgrounds that we can walk down to when somebody decides to monopolize the bathroom time. It's not me. It's not me. And neither is it Dakota. And neither is it Mom. So here at Mount Rushmore KOA, this is the second largest KOA. Lots of campsites, there's cabins, there's a lodge. Just tons of room for anybody really from any walk, whether you're an RVer or not, to be able to come and enjoy this area. Mount Rushmore National Monument is about a 10 minute drive from here. And so that's a great place to go see if you've never been there. Highly recommend checking that out. It's a really fun place to go and see, especially with the kiddos. So really great place to stay. Just tons of amenities. The Black Hills are beautiful. The forest is beautiful. Like when we pulled in, the first thing I noticed was just the smell of the pine trees, which was just beautiful. Um, <laughs> Kind of like a little bit of slice of heaven in a way. Um, cool mornings, cool evenings. Just a really beautiful environment. Hi. Hi. Did you get good sleep? Yes, it's breakfast ready. Not quite yet. What you cooking? Bacon. Sausage? We ate the sausage yesterday. Mm. No. Pancakes, you wanna help me make the pancakes this morning? Yes. Awesome, let's go do that. Okay. Here is inflatable. There you you use everything inflatable, don't you? You mean collapsible? Ooh. Not inflatable, collapsible, kiddo. Collapsible? <laughs> yes. How much do I pour in? It's so hot. take the measuring cup. Measuring cup? Yeah. Yeah. And put in, um, just measure it? one cup of that. One cup. Yeah. I might spill. Oh, jeez. Is that enough or is that not enough? Fill it up the rest of the way. I know. Well, what do I do? Put in the bowl. Okay, now you need to take one cup of water, so one cup. get some water out of the sink. Put that in the bowl. Mm, that looks weird. Okay, now get the whisk and mix it up. This? Be careful not to, yeah. Ew, this looks mushy. 
keep mixing. It's gross. Machine gross. One thing I like to use is actually paper plates when we can. I definitely don't mind washing dishes, but sometimes when we're just out, especially for maybe a weekend or whatever, or with extra family, paper plates sure do make the job a lot easier. All right, so Trinity, what you do is... I know, I know. Ooh. Here, let's try it. No, I don't like to touch it. It's, it's okay. so hard. So I just like to Very. dump it until it forms a little circle. There you go. And then now Enjoy right over stuff. here. Tell me when. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. And then and right easy. here. So this particular resort, campground, um, whatever you want to call it, this is a really cool time for us to be here because the first time we ever came here was when our son was just a baby and we actually stayed in, remember. you remember? Uh -huh. We actually stayed in the lodge because we weren't even into RVing then. He was just a baby, he was just an infant, so we stayed in the lodge. But we love this place so much. It's so beautiful that a few years later, when we had a couple of kids, they were just a little bit older, we came and stayed in one of their cabins, which was really, really cool place. So now that we have an RV, we were super excited to be able to come back in the RV this time and be able to actually glamp here at the Mount Rushmore KOA in the Black Hills of South Dakota in our RV. There are so many amenities that this KOA has from the pool to a splash pad, a climbing rock wall, gaga ball, bike rentals, ATV rentals, a water slide. It also has several different stores that you can go shop at. They serve food right here on the premises. So if you're having one of those days where you're feeling a little lazy and you don't wanna cook, then you are in luck and you can just order food right here on the premises. This is a very large campground. There's so many acres and acres. There's also something for everybody. So as I mentioned just a few minutes before, our first trip here was before we were RVers and we stayed in the lodge in kind of like a hotel room. Our second trip ever here, we rented one of the cabins and it was just a beautiful experience. We were able to still enjoy the area and kind of enjoy roughing it in a little bit of a way, um, sleeping in a cabin. And now we are here as RVers and we just love the experience of being able to stay in the campground. And it's just the most beautiful setting here in the Black Hills National Forest area. There is a bike shop where you can rent some pedal bikes and ride around the campground or if you have your own bikes. This is a great campground to just ride the bikes around. It's so spacious and there's so much to see and do here that having some bikes or a golf cart or renting the bikes that they have here is a great way to get around and see some things while you're here at the campground. This campground is a KOA resort which really means you wouldn't ever have to plan on leaving. This is a great place to come especially if maybe you don't want to bring a tow vehicle with you and you want to just go someplace where you can stay and just enjoy your time here and not ever have to leave. They have horseback right here on the premises. Just so many things that you can do and see without ever having to leave. So we have been enjoying just a really nice weekend here. We actually got in later than what we anticipated. We had a little problem with our rig when we were in Cheyenne, Wyoming, where it was wanting to overheat on us. And so we had to stop and get a quick repair made. And thankfully it was a very quick repair with no major issues at all. So we got in a little bit later than what we wanted, which cut our time here short a little bit, but it's okay. We had a wonderful time while we were here. Right now, this particular visit, uh, Ben's dad and um, his stepmom are here with us. They live in the area, so they've been visiting with us. So we're gonna go back over to the rig here and uh, see if they've got breakfast cooking and what's going on. So I left the Blackstone Grill on and uh, ran us out of propane. So I'm gonna go uh, head over to the store at the KOA here and um, grab some more propane. I'm not the steering. Mm -hmm. well, you can turn it. Try to. Go forward. It's heavy. I feel like we're gonna fall. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't. Mm -hmm. Can you take us on a motorcycle ride? Well, probably not tonight. Unfortunately, no. Tomorrow? There you go. Now you're on it. Is this the front brake or back brake? That's the front brake. 
What about, is That's this the clutch. Enemy? What's the clutch? All together. So apparently, two scoops is one scoop, one ginormous scoop. It's just funny, every time that I see Mount Rushmore, I always think about that Superman movie. The guy took over and like lasered his face over George Washington instead and then like got rid of the other president. So every time I see Mount Rushmore, I think of that Superman movie. It was hilarious. <laughs> 